In this video we're going to learn how to program recoil in C-sharp and how to spread it out over several frames for the sake of smoothing. First we're going to open our player script and within a struct called shoot settings we're going to add in the amount of recoil on both the X and Y axes. We'll use a random uh, dot range method to uh, randomize it for every shot, but in the settings we're going to set the maximum amount. Now let's do that in the scene. Let's go into our shooting script. This is where we've put our fire function, if you're not using my code but your own shooting code. Just put it uh, in your fire function, so that's whatever's called every time you fire a shot. Now first we're going to need something that rotates your player around the y-axis depending on the amount of left to right recoil and then you're going to need something that rotates uh, you up and down along the x-axis. In this case it will we'll pass in the transform of the player and then of the head slash gun which goes up and down although if you're using uh, a system that has a rig, uh, you might want to pass in the spine to rotate up and down. So we'll reference the player object to rotate it left and right, rotate it around the vector 3 dot up axis. In a random dot range, we'll put in negative maximum re recoil along the x, spanning to the positive recoil along the x. And then we'll reference the head, saying that we'll rotate the head up and down around the vector three dot right axis, and we'll make it space dot self. So we're using local rotation. Let's test that out. Now you'll see it's very jittery. It's only doing its one frame, but then it immediately stops recoiling. But we want to spread it out over several frames. Yeah, see, I've increased the recoil, and you can see that, so you can very clearly see how jittery it is. So now we're going to spread it out over multiple frames. Uh, we'll put in a vector 2. This won't be serialized, so you can't set it in the settings, but it will exist, and it's public because we need to access it. So in the fire function, we will set the uh, recoil remaining. And then this can be saved so that over the next frame we can add to it a little bit so it doesn't stop immediately. And then every, in this maybe shoot function, which is called every frame, we can continue. So it won't get called just when you fire a shot, it'll be called every frame. And now we're going to add something that will uh, slowly dampen the amount of recoil. So we'll times equal it by 0.9f every frame, which will reduce it. But then when you fire, the recoil remaining will go back to its max value and it will start. So it'll just fall off over time. Just fix up some comments. Let's play, see how it works. See now every time we fire a shot, it's got fall off over several frames. Now you can see it's shooting and the recoil is actually quite hard to control. So it works, it's smooth, and uh, if you want to lessen the recoil, you can. Anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and uh, give suggestions for the next video.